our goal was to adapt four different sizes of paintbrushes for a seven-year-old child who can only pronate, so they can only use their palm face down and they have a tight grip on the paintbrush. So if you were to use a regular paintbrush in pronation, it would be very hard to paint with because typically when you use a paintbrush, you hold your hand in a tripod grasp. So if you're forced to only pronate when using the paintbrush, it's very hard to hold the paintbrush and do the strokes, whether it's a horizontal surface or a vertical surface. So the paintbrush might fall out of your hand. And also if you have a tight grasp, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna put a lot of stress on your fingers or your hand, and it might even damage the utensil. So we decided to use a T-shaped PVC pipe because we felt it would be easy to use if your hand's in pronation to hold the PVC pipe. So we needed something that would fit inside of the T-pipe to hold the four different sizes of paintbrushes. So we found this foam insulation that would easily hold the paintbrushes. So what we did was we took it, we tore it right on the seam of it, and then we cut a tiny piece that would fit inside of the pipe. When we got a correct piece, we stuffed it inside of the pipe. So once you have a good sized piece, you put it inside the tube. And then as you can see, each of the paint brushes fit in super nicely without falling. So now we took the foam insulation again and we cut it for the outside of the PVC pipe because our seven-year-old child has a tight grip, we want something that is gonna be soft on the outside and so they can grip it as hard as they want without hurting their hand or without hurting the pipe. So once we got a correct piece, we put it on the outside of the T-pipe and then you can easily squeeze it and use it. So now we wanted something to cover the outside and to make it cosmetically appealing. So we found these socks and there's all different fun colors for kids. And what you do is you take one of the socks and you just cover the outside of the brush. So it stays together and it's a fun color. So now that this is on, a kid can change it with any of the other socks if they want to, if it's a boy using it, if it's a girl using it. Also, you can decorate the bottom of the tea pipe. So you can put this bow on, or you can put a fun duct tape or stickers, whatever the kid likes. So now that our paintbrush is assembled, we can go ahead and use it. So you can use it on a horizontal surface. It's very easy to paint in pronation. And if need be, you can turn the paintbrush around. You can also paint on a vertical surface. It's very easy to do, again, in pronation. And it's very easy to grip, depending if you have a tight grip or not. It's very soft on your hand. No stress and no stress on the paintbrush. So as you can see, this device is really easy to make. It was also really inexpensive. It was about $5 altogether to put together. Um, and it's fun and colorful and great for use with kids.